Hi, my name is Phoebe Emmerich. Today I'll be talking to you about your family around the world. Do you know you can be related to anyone in the whole world? If you know that, please give yourself a pat on the back. If you didn't, that's okay, because I only learned it last summer. You probably know that at the beginning of the time that people started looking like humans, there were only a few of them. So we all are related to one of those people. But that is a whole other story, so let's stay focused. Let me tell you how I got interested in genealogy. On July 1st, me and my mom were talking about a trip to Paul, Vermont the following week. Why are we going anyway, I asked her. She told me it was so she could visit where she used to live. And much to her surprise, she had just found out that our ancestors used to live there too. She added that some were buried there and that we were going to look for their graves. Let's think about the possibilities of that. A girl, my mom, lived in a very small town in a world of over 7 billion people. And that is the same town that her ancestors lived in, and she didn't know until she was an adult. Now we should get back to the conversation before I blow your mind. Is there anything special about looking for graves? Will we become famous? Will we get a medal? Questions were spilling out of my mouth, but luckily my mom explained. She told me that the, the special thing about looking for graves was that we were going to be doing genealogy. And sadly, no, I would not get to be famous, and no, I would not get a medal. I still have one more question after that. What is genealogy? She told me that genealogy is the study of your family. You can collect documents and clues to make your family tree, so you feel like you know them. This is my family tree. I'm the one in the red rectangle. And by the way, another definition is a line of descent traced continuously from an ancestor. She also told me that she had a list of names and where they were buried. After she told me that, I was way more excited and happy about the next week's adventure. In genealogy, you can also learn about history through the eyes of your ancestors. For example, my grandfather's father on my mother's side fought in World War II. While he was there, he sent my grandfather letters. If me and my family look through those letters, we might find out some details about the war that only my ancestors in the war could tell me. So if I want to learn more about the American Civil War, I could learn more about my ancestors who fought in it. The cool thing in my family is that my ancestors fought in every th war that the USA was part of. The even more interesting part is that my ancestors also fought in the Revolutionary War, but were on different sides. So my ancestors fought against each other. Back to my story the next week. We learned a lot by visiting the graves of our ancestors around Polly. Their graves said when they were born and when they died. Sometimes we could tell the members of the family from who they were buried with. Even though we learned a lot, there are still mysteries to explore. For example, all of our relatives had the same mark on the grave stalk. A stalk of wheat. Why? We still don't know. When we needed help to find the graves, we visited the library in the town and the historical society. They were happy to help us. During that trip, I saw the grave of my great, 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 great grandparent. When we found him, we knew that the only reason we had found him was because we worked hard to find the name and location, and that hard work let us find him. This trip sparked my interest in genealogy, and by doing genealogy, I feel like I know more about my ancestors. Here's some cool stories I learned. My mom is related to a wild character named Irvin, who loved to play tricks on people. A guardian was taking him to a mental hospital, but he tricked them into putting the guardian in instead. Our family is still telling that hilarious story, even though it's over a hundred years old. My great-great-grandfather was a policeman who was a crossing guard for school children. When he died by a heart attack, the children saved their pennies to buy a plaque in his memory. It is now in a museum. So how do you find out more about your family? When you leave this presentation, I might want, you might want to start studying genealogy. So I would suggest the book, The National Geographic Kids Guide to Genealogy, 
by TJ Ressler and an app called Ancestry.com. You can also search an archive in a place where you know your family or ancestors lived. Once you find an ancestor, you can look at the people who descended from them. Maybe you'll find out that you're related to someone famous, or even to one of your own friends. Another thing you could do would be to interview your grandparents. Maybe they know something interesting about any great or great-great-grandparents. For example, you could ask them the big question. Did your dad or grandparent fight in any war? Then if they say yes, then you could ask which war they fought in. Then you could ask about what they did and if they were part of a big move. Then at that part, you could probably make more questions. You may even find out that you're related to one of your friends. Now that you know you can be related to anyone in the whole world, I'll give some examples to support this. My mom didn't know she was related to the founders of her own town until she learned about genealogy. My friend Milo is related to someone that is supposed to be a king. I'm related to Jack Swagger, astronaut on Apollo 13. Even though their countries were at war once, George Washington and Queen Elizabeth II are related to each other through her Virginian ancestry. Are you related to someone that is famous? Or maybe you are related to your best friend? You can be related to anyone, so if you ever want to feel like you have a big family, then look around and start learning about genealogy. The best way to understand today is to understand yesterday. Thank you.